Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 11. Now, day before yesterday, not yesterday, on day number 9, we learned the tables of times, times table of 9 and 10. Today we're going to talk about the time, time, times table of 11 and 12. Let's take a look at 11 first, obviously. Here's the table of 10. We're going to leave it here because we, that table of 10 actually comes in very handy when you're trying to figure out the values for the values that belong in the, in the 9th table. Similarly, to, in order to figure out the values that belong in the 10th, uh, 11th table and the 12th table, 10th table comes in quite handy. You just have to be able to make the connection. Of course, you have to memorize the value, but at the same time, the, the process of memorizing the value becomes a little bit easier if we have some intuitive understanding behind it, as opposed to simply mechanically memorizing it like a machine, like a parrot. Parrot just memorizes this thing. Parrot doesn't have any intuitive understanding of what's going on. I don't want you to simply memorize like a parrot. Make the connections. It will make it easier. For example, let's look at 11's table. Let's look at the table of 11. So we have 11 ones are, 11 ones are, 11 twos are, 11 threes are, 11 fours are, and 11 fives are. Now, if you recall, the day before yesterday, day number nine, and if you have not watched day number nine, this will be a good time actually to pause this video and watch day number nine first. I take it for granted. I take it for granted that you've been watching these videos in their proper se in, in their proper sequence because things build on each other. On day number nine, if you recall, well, I just erased it. Actually, I shouldn't have erased it. The trick that we used to figure out the tables of nines. For example, if we wanted to find nine threes, nine threes, what we said is that nine threes would have to be same as ten threes, which is thirty, minus one three. So if you have ten threes and if you take away one three, that's nine three. Here. The trick that we're going to play is just the opposite. 11 threes is going to be the same as 10 threes and then one more three. 11 elevens are 11. 11 twos are same as 10 twos, which is 20, plus one more two. Except here actually it's very easy to memorize it because 11 times 2 is just 22. It's 33. It makes it easier to memorize it. But anyway, that's what's going on here. 44 is simply 10 fours and one more four. 11 times five, 11 fives are 11 fives are 10 fives, which are 50, plus one more five. So that gives us 44 and 55. Let's carry on. 11 sixes, 11 sevens, 11 eights, 11 nines, and finally, 11 tens. Well, 11 tens is going to be the same as 10 tens. 10 tens we know is 100. 10 tens we know is 100 plus one more 10. That's going to be 11 tens. 11 sixes are going to be 10 sixes plus one more six. It's going to be 10 sixes, which is 60 plus one more six. 11 sevens are going to be 10, 10 sevens, which is 70 plus one more seven. 80 plus one more eight. 11 nines are going to be 90, which are 10 nines. 90 represents 90 represents 10 nines. You add one more nine to it, and there you have it. You now we now have 11 nines, and that's it. That's our answers. So 60 plus 6 is 66, 77, 88, 99, and 110. And the exact same trick we're going to play. We're going to play the exact same trick. We're going to make use of, make use of the same exact trick. Make use of the same exact logic, same exact rationale, same exact thinking. when we want to memorize the tables of 12, which is the last table we're going to do here. So let's do 12 now. We're done with 11. We're going to move on to the table of 12. Okay, just give me one more brief second. Table of 12 is going to be very straightforward. Instead of, instead of adding one two, we're going to add two twos. These are 10 twos. We're going to add two more twos. Two twos are four. So it's going to be 20 plus four, not 20 plus two. 10 twos and two twos. Here is the table of 12. 
and these number represents let's put this here in the same pattern so we have it here these number represent these number represent 10 of them these number here let's put them in a different color these represent these represent 10 of them but we need 12 of them because it's a table of 12 so we need to add we need to add two ten we need to add two more ones ten represents ten ones we have twelve ones twelve ones are going to be ten ones which is ten and then two more ones which is two similarly twelve twos twelve twos twelve twos are going to be ten twos and then two more twos ten twos and two more twos two more twos are two twos are four same thing here twelve threes are going to be 10 threes which is 30 plus 2 more threes which is 6 12 fours are same as 10 fours, 10 fours are 40 and then 2 more fours which is 8 the way I did it in a way uh, I sort of got rid of plus sign here there's a plus sign here and similarly 12 fives are going to be 10 fives which is 50 plus 2 more fives which is 10 and there you go there is your answer so it's going to be 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Let's do these now. So again, we're looking for 12 stable. We don't. We know we're not looking for 11 stable. We're looking for 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and 12. 12 sixes are going to be 10 sixes, which is 60, and two more sixes, and two more sixes. 10 sixes plus two more sixes are. 2 6s are 12 and 60 plus 12, 60 plus 10 is 70 plus 2 more is 72. 12 7s are going to be 10 7, 12 7s are going to be 10 7s which are 70 plus 2 more 7s which is 14. 70 plus 14 is going to be 70 plus 10 which is 80, 80 plus 4 is 84. 12 times 8, 12 eights are the same as 10 eights, 10 eights are 80, and then 2 more eights. If you get 2 more eights, that's 16. And again, 80 plus 16 is the same as 80 plus 10, which is 90, plus 6 more, 96. 12 nines are going to be 10 nines, and then 2 more nines. So we need 18. 2 more nines are 18, 2 nines are 18. 90 plus 18 is going to be same as 90 plus 10 plus 8. We break up the 18 into 10 and 8 because it's easier to add 10 first. 90 plus 10 is 100 and then 8 more, so 108. And finally, 12 tens are going to be 10 tens and 2 more tens. 2 more tens is 120. It's 120. I'm going to rewrite this 108. We rewrite it so that it does not need to look quite as hideous as it did before. Do you understand? There is a limit to it. there is a limit to how much one can broke. What does it mean to broke? Broke means to what does it mean to be able to broke something? Broke means to be able to tolerate something, to be able to handle something, to be able to endure something, to be able to stomach something. If somebody asks you, can you broke it? Can you broke it? Can you handle it? Can you tolerate it? Can you stomach it? Are you up to it? Broke. When did we learn it? We did learn it. Now having said that, I do not know what the noun of hideous is. I, have, I will have to look up the noun of the word hideous. For example, noun of ugly is ugliness. So one, you, one wouldn't say, can, can you broke this much ugly? One would have to say, can you broke this much ugly? Ugliness. There's a limit to how, how much of a it was quite hideous. Now it's not quite as hideous. And what I need in order to finish, in order for me to be able to finish my sentence, I need a noun of hideous, which I do not know. I'll have to look it up and learn it first, and then I'll share with you. Broke. Day number four. Day four. Just type in vocabulary words. Day four. Learn the word. Okay. So that was it. That was a that was a table of elevens and 12s. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.